Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with Horse Racing Tips for Wednesday the 10th of July. Well, two decentish price winners. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to get his money back um, because of how, how the rest of them ran. And the rest of them ran shocking. Well, Sound Reason still hasn't run its race yet. Uh, two absolute, what, completely, no. Two very disappointing runs. Um... This time it was slowly away, but the um, the race course comment says very awkward away. Well, I thought it was slow away, and it just allowed them to get away from it. Um, never really put in the race once again. Um, never involved. That was it. Um, coast co coast wasn't given. It was it wasn't the best away, and he had to nudge it along, and there was quite a good pace on, and then. The good pace was flanked by another horse that took the pace on and cut across. So it was shuffled back, but I expected it to weaken away because it tends to like to make the running. So I definitely think what I think they'll do with Coast is I think they'll run it again um, at somewhere like Wolverhampton again. And I think they'll get the handicap mark down and then they'll run it at Lingfield. So keep an eye on it or I'll try and keep an eye on it. But uh, I do think they'll, then, they'll now start running at Wolverhampton again because it prefers Lingfield. So let me get into Wednesday's selection. So if you, well, obviously, if you, if you listen to this part, of course, I haven't said anything yet, as in like selection wise, but it's absolutely bouncing off the roof at the moment in Nottinghamshire. Um, I'm expecting it to be the same um, throughout the night at Catrick. I think the goers are going to be really slow tomorrow. So I've gone for horses that I think will be fine on the going. It's just. They've got angles where they, where you can give these horses a chance, and I'm going to explain why, but I won't go into too much detail. So I'm not putting any more money into the into the account. So it's six pound and four return, I think it was. So I've had a six pound and four bet. I've had a seventeen pence each way, lucky fifteen, and not advised by Steve Cooper, but Steve Steve Cooper, as regular said, do not take the prices with Sky Bet. So I'm going to blame him. No, I'm I'm going to follow him in and I'm not going to take the prices um, thanks for all the comments today uh, and I've also had a 47 pence each way accumulator so let me get into it so the first selection is Muta Narsek in the 250 at Catrick paying four places instead of three it's run at Catrick several times run well at Catrick it tends to run over a furlong further than this it has got some pace although they don't tend, it's got like a decent cruising pace but they don't tend to race it up with the pace my concern is they might get away from it. However, it will be guaranteed to stay. They will go, in my opinion, very quick because they'll all be desperate to grab this near side rail, rail once they've come round the bend. Depending how bad the weather it has been, if you're drawn high um, over six furlongs, you might find that they go, as, as I'm sat on the horse, they may well go to the right and take a huge scenic route. They don't always do that, but in the past, they have done in the past. Luton um I can't remember what this one's drawn, actually, but um, it, I'm not going to read too much into that. Basically, it likes soft ground, it stays further, and I think it's got probably got the best jock in the race, Christian Howarth. It's an apprentice race, and I think it's got a chance. The second selection is an interesting angle. It's trained by Amy... Oh, I forgot her name now. Why do I always... Amy Murphy. So the second selection is Elizabeth or Elizabeth in the 320 at Catrick. This horse uh, made its deb debut in Chantilly. Chantilly? 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 I don't know. Didn't seem that difficult to say when I read it. Chantilly. Chantilly? Put it in the comments, please. Or spell um, how you pronounce it. So... Anyway, yeah, it's ran in France. Um, it ran okay, but it was quite a warm race. The, the winner was at a race of post rating of 90, and the second was 80-something. Um, I think it'll come on for the run. She, I actually looked at the, the breeding of this horse, and um, I think it's either a half-brother or a half-sister who was the best out of this mare. Um, actually did the same. It ran its first two runs in France, then, then came over to this country. But then, admittedly, it did start running on the all-weather after a bit, but it it is an angle where she does seem to like to run a, a two-year-old on slower ground. Well, it's going to be slow tomorrow, 
and maybe it might have the upper edge. I don't know. I think it's drawn something like eight. So if higher numbers do have a chance or are, are preferred, it's definitely got a chance. And Jason Hart knows the time of day at Catrick and on soft ground, but it should do by now. The third selection is the most interesting. This horse has never been, never even been put in any races whatsoever. It's been sat at the back and its handicap mark is plummeting. Well, for those of you that might be a little more observant than I normally am, I only realised last minute, but it's horse that I've backed in the past and it was never put in the race and it was a tasty price and it was at Catrick and I think it was on heavy ground and it was never put in the race and I actually thought it ran an okay race. Um, so maybe it may have a chance. It's currently 11s, I think, or 14s. Well, I think it should be bigger than that. But if the stable really fancy it, it'll be much shorter than that. So we'll just have to see. But I think it, I think it should be 20s come um, come race time. So it's Aknamara in the 4.20 at Catrick, paying four places instead of three. And finally, one of the more... In well, I'll say one of the more. I'm going to pick four, and I'm interested in all of them. So... The fourth selection is Kindest Nation in the 455 at Catterick. Hoping, hoping there's not lots of not run, non runners in this. Um, the ground could be pretty bad. It's got first time cheek pieces and it's ran well on slow ground in the past. It's owned partly by, I think it's uh, Michael Owen or Michael Owen's syndicate, something like that. But Hugo Palmer is a decent trainer to have runners at Catterick or. It's quite high, in my opinion, it's quite a high profile trainer, although he hasn't done anything since he started training for Michael Owen. Um, so, this horse, first time cheap pieces, I, I still think that it could be a case of whoever gets out, um, goes around the um, home straight in front and comes to the near side. Sometimes they can just last it out against that rail, against the near side rail, if it's favouring this side. So I think it's got every chance. I think it's got highest draw, which is, I'm not bothered about with it being Catrick on soft ground. I've left all the prices. If, if you can give me a like, I'd really appreciate it. Go on, we've had two winners today. It wasn't enough to um, show a profit, but hopefully you've probably backed them sensibly rather than my stakes. So the very best of luck, Charlie Winters over and out. Cheers, mate.